let's start at the beginning or the end. Actually, this is our last day in Chios. Chios, actually. You don't pronounce... We find <laughs> we had many uh, ideas of how to pronounce this island's name until we got here, but we discovered everyone is saying Chios. Chios. And the people who live here are hens. Not herons. Not herons. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so here we are on our last few hours before we go out to catch the, the late plane back to Athens. And we thought we'd just rattle through some of the wonderful things that have happened to us since we arrived here. I forgot what day it is, but it was late in the day. Our little plane flew all the way from Thessaloniki across the North Aegean. And we landed on a runway that was only barely long enough for our rubber band driven plane, whatever it might have been and where you get a drink of water, a bottle of water, yeah. and a mastica biscuit, biscuit, which Alison hated, and we have not had anything to do with mastica ever since. <laughs> not, <laughs> not the food anyway, even though it is the prime reason that um, I Hios exists Indeed. and has existed over uh, thousands, and we really do talk about thousands here, because yesterday the wonderful Galatea Paradisus took us on a tour of the island and one of the first things she showed us was an olive tree that was older than Homer. 2,600 years plus. 2,600 years plus. Now as ever with Homer and we discovered that um, when we were in Eos uh, nine years ago they claimed to have his uh, burial ground. The fact is uh, Homer drowned and this was on the top of a very very high mountain and now here in um, in Hios, they're claiming that he was either born here or came here at a, an age and wrote a lot of his poetry here. And right now behind us, you can probably hear it, it's one of the ferries coming in from Piraeus, which is another thing we enjoyed watching. The boat came roaring into the harbour and then, you know, like the aeroplane at the airport, had to hit all anchors. But it's all done without tugs or anything. These massive boats just turn themselves around and back up to the, the wharf. It's really quite extraordinary. But look, yesterday with Galatea was phenomenal really, wasn't it? She took us to the Mastica villages and they really are the story of the world because it's someone gets prosperous, someone gets envious, greed takes over, and then they come in and try and slaughter them. <laughs> and yeah. my goodness, just like in Thessaloniki, the slaughter has been dreadful over thousands of years. And um, so we went to the forts. The villages were turned into forts to fight off invaders and pirates. And now, inside the fort walls, they're building very, very modern units, flats. To well, converting the old, um, either the old houses or digging into the walls of the town to create uh, dwellings inside the walls. And they're going to look pretty spiffy, aren't they? I think so. The, yeah. the, the work of building the walls was phenomenal, and the masonry that's going on right now is pretty... Uh, on top of what they were doing, even though running wires through <laughs> these thick fort walls, electricity wires and gas wires and um, and water uh, pipes, that's the word he's trying to say, water pipes, is a bit of a challenge. But the one village uh, was pretty much as it was and has, it has been for thousands of years. The second one has been too, turned into a it's touristico. More, more touristico, yes. That's uh, with so. its... Um, Stucco, would you call that artwork? It's sort of. Um, it, it's it's also a relief. Uh, 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 yeah, artwork. relief. Yes, and we found a church that had beautiful uh, icons on the walls and on the roof. Things we probably would never have found without Galatea's help. I, I think undoubtedly we, we wouldn't have done. She. She just opened random doors and said, oh, come inside and have a look. Yeah. And, you know, it's probably not something most of us would do um, uh, no. when you don't speak the language. And, but uh, even in the second village, which was Touristico, to use the, the local term, uh, the, the residents just left the keys in the door, so there was no crime, which was lovely. But um, we're sitting on the balcony of our of the Chandras Hotel overlooking the port. We've been watching big boats and little boats, fishing boats, go in and out. The ferry to Turkey only takes 50 minutes from here. And we found out something. We thought that it was overcast, but Galatea tells us that it's not cloud, but it's in fact sand 
From which desert? The Sahara. <laughs> and apparently this is the, one of the reasons for the agriculture being so strong here. And also with the mastica tree, that it only grows in the south part of the island. And there's almost a line in the island where if you put planted a tree the other side of that line, it, it won't d develop the It, the, the it gum. won't develop the, the, the resin uh, that they perfect climate in the south of the island allows it to do. Yeah, and uh, mastica is in everything here, in the tea, it's chewing gum, uh, it's... Well, I'm very relieved it actually isn't in everything, because <laughs> it Alison, tastes awful. Alison took an instant dislike to it, and I had to drag a kicking and screaming into the mastica <laughs> shop. So anyway, we, we managed to get a few trinkets, and I've got some local uh, herbs, uh, Gian herbs from, from Kios to put on some fish. So if you happen to be around in the next um, few Friday or Saturday nights, we're having fish. <laughs> <laughs> and you might be having fish too. So, I mean, how, out of 10, let's, let's just do something as silly as out of 10. How, I mean, we only discovered Hios when we, we'd worked out how to get to Thessaloniki and we didn't know, oh, there's the anchor going down. <laughs> and we didn't know where to go from there and I looked up on the, where do flights go from Thessaloniki and there was this place, C-H-I-O-S, Kios, Kios, Kios. <laughs> and uh, the little rubber band plane managed to get us here without any issues whatsoever. So, you know, I'm going to give it nine and a half out of ten. I'd give it nine, but I think one of the things that struck me immediately, uh, well, probably not at night, but <laughs> the next morning, is the architecture and the atmosphere and the colour is quite different here compared to other Greek islands that we've been to or mm. northern, northern Greece. It's, um, I'd say, more Middle Eastern uh, influences, mm. uh, probably a bit, I mean, there's Byzantine everywhere, but this, I think, is primarily Byzantine architecture. Yeah. Um, the, well, some of the houses, uh, the, the stone in one of the areas we drove through is the most beautiful, almost rose-coloured, mm. sandy, rosy, sandy-coloured um, and uh, much warmer, uh, I think, than some other areas. But uh, it's almost like five different places in one because the architecture, even the um, uh, some of the characteristics of day-to-day -day life apparently are quite different if, if you are north, south, east, west or in the middle. Mm. So it's like the five regions in one island. And of course we've not seen all of it. No. But we, we did go to a beach but that didn't quite work out as we had hoped. Number one, there were no changing facilities. And number two, those stones were pretty uncomfortable on feet inside shoes, and I didn't feel like walking bare feet into the, the sea. And we did know the water was going to be cold as well. So. And uh, quite deep. And quite the, deep, yeah. so um, discretion was the better part of uh, valour. Not wishing to look like a pair of idiots, no. I think, was part of it as well. <laughs> But there were a few people swimming and um, sunbathing, but uh, all the rocks, they're um, volcanic, aren't they? they? There is a combination. Where we were, it was volcanic, um, but there is also, there are sandy beaches, um, uh, dark sand beaches, which will have some of the uh, vol volcanic matter, and uh, white sandy beaches. So it's quite different uh, all around the island. Um, many uh, a shale many summer sand and some are quite large rocks. So if you wanted to come somewhere different with a wonderful story, a wonderful history behind it, Here. Eos, become a Heian for a while. Or a Heron. <laughs> Bye. Bye.